or a, a parent who has a child with a cleft. Surgeries to repair these clefts have been life-changing for most, but are they affordable? Dr. Masi Korir tells us now how much the cost is on your health budget. Cleft lip and palate is considered a neglected surgical disease. More often than not, international charitable organizations have been fundraising to offer free corrective surgeries to those in need. If you just did an assessment, you'll find that most of the people who, who have clefts, if they are not treated, they will not go to school, so they end up in poverty. To repair a one-sided cleft lip at a private hospital would cost an average of 300,000 Kenya shillings and a bilateral at 350,000 Kenya shillings. A cleft palate repair would be 350,000 and a combination of both would be anything from 600,000. In public facilities, this cost would be between 50 to 60,000 Kenya shillings or less. A cleft lip is repaired at three months of age, the palate at between nine and 12 months, but that may not be the only treatment required. Just behind the, the upper lip, there's usually a gap where the teeth will grow. So that area is also clefted. And uh, for the teeth to grow properly, then we, we, we do an alveolar bone graft. So we graft that area because, because there's usually no bone. Later on, as the child is also developing these teeth, the teeth will not be straight, okay? So they'll require uh, braces, it's called orthodontic treatment, to align those teeth. This is between 9 and 11 years at a cost of anything between 150 to 200,000 Kenya shillings. But that is not all. You see... In a child with a cleft palate, when the growth of the face is complete at 16 years for girls and 17 for boys, they will require jaw surgeries. It's called orthognathic surgery. So we actually position the jaws to now match with the lower one, which did not have a problem. And that's a more expensive procedure, costing probably about 500,000. With such costly but necessary and life-changing surgeries for a child, does your medical insurer foot this bill? It really depends on the exclusions that they have. So for some, they'll have excluded congenital deformities because a cleft is a congenital deformity. And uh, when they put some exclusions, they, sometimes they open a window and say, for congenital deformities, we can only cover up to this much. What about the National Hospital Insurance Fund, NHIF? Many parents who have this NHIF card, when they go to seek approval from NHIF, they have not been getting. I don't know what went wrong. But the NHIF civil servants one has been able to, to support. They are, they are able to pay for it almost uh, 100%. NHIF, through its CEO, Mr. Geoffrey Mwangi, says that they cover all surgical procedures, including these repairs of clefts, and no approvals are declined without reason. One may argue that clefts are unforeseeable, and hence these surgeries to repair them non-negotiable. Therefore, excluding them from any medical insurance will have detrimental effects to the life of the child who needs it. Something worth looking into? Probably. Dr. Masikorir, for your health budget, KT News.